Council and the Tribal Council. From the grassroots, right from the village level, the resolution was necessitated because after the formation of the state of Nagaland, when Eastern Nagaland was not part of Indian Union, and when the Naga Hills was already a part of British Empire, 1866 and became a part of Assam as a district. To amalgamate and form the state of Nagaland, this 60 years of journey, we have found that there was nothing happening on the ground. People had high expectation. Right from the beginning, they have formed a regional council for us, but that also chaired by a deputy commissioner, de facto chairman. And then over and above that, we had the 12 MLAs against the 40 MLAs in the assembly. Therefore, right from the beginning, there was some defect. Even the money which is put in, in the constitution, that the money from center shall be distributed equally between the eastern and the areas of Nagaland, that did not happen. And as far as the structure, infrastructure, the employment, per capita income, then uh, B2C, if you look at today, we are far behind others. Therefore, the village council from every tribe is resolved that we should demand for a statehood named Trandal Nagaland Territory. However, in the course of time, the ENPO had submitted to the UP government under Congress. And uh, on 25th November 2010, but nothing was given to us. Somehow they said we will try to mortify the regional council, but that didn't happen. Then in 2012, the BJP party took a decision to tour the eastern Nagaland area to find out what is the ground reality. The findings of the but BJB was almost the same thing which we had reiterated. And on the 14th of April 2012, Mr. Nitin Gatri, who was the then president BJB national president, he visited Tensang and Mon and he declared that the report has been received by him looking at the conditions of the Eastern Nagaland region you deserve to have the front of Naga territory. Therefore, 
When this, uh, then he said also that we will uh, support your case and even debate on the floor of the parliament. In 2014, the UD, uh, in, uh, India government came again to power with BJP on the top and we initiated for a dialogue. And she, uh, Rajnath Singh, who was a union home minister under the Modi government, agreed to have dialogue. We had four rounds of bilateral talk. That means EMU delegations with the government of India officials in the Ministry of Home Affairs. Then after that, whatever we have discussed with the um, government of India, the government of Nagaland officials were gone to uh, meet us at Kohima. Then second meeting we had in Delhi. And there was only two small corrections. The literacy rate, uh, uh, the employment rate, and the, the literacy, we managed to get that uh, corrected and everything was ready. And finally, the government of India under the Ministry of Home Affairs selected 10 joint secretary level officers to go to Eastern Nagaland and to the various subdivisions to check the crown reality and they found that whatever they said was almost correct. Therefore, Home Minister called us, Home Secretary called us and that now from the official level they have, they have compiled the file and it's been put up to the Home Minister or uh, to political, for political dialogue. Now I'll just go through this with uh, points only because there are a lot of speakers but since I'm here to brief you, I would like to start on the 6th December 2022. Sri Amit Shah, Honorable Union Home Minister declared. Now, he declared in the sense that the government of India have, I was having problem to give us the statehood, full-fledged, then union territory because they have got 20 odd other states claiming for the same status. Therefore, in order to get over this, they have promised that they will give us an uh, administrative unit for our Eastern Nagaland with a different nomenclature, with the following, uh, in, uh, the, I'll just read out what he said, to provide decentralized self-governance through an effective and accountable administration set up with adequate legislature, executive, and financial authority. That means we'll have the money to, to be sent to FND, the name nomenclature which was uh, made up from the government of India was um, Frontier Naga, Nagaland Territory. That means this money for development will come to our state, our territory, and with the headquarter, we will be able to have assembly, we'll have our own executive, we'll have our own judiciary. After the uh, 16th, the second, on the 2nd February 2023 in Delhi, a solution was mutually agreed with the implemented after completion of the election. That was Nagaland Assembly since it was coming. So the Home Minister came to Mall and told the delegation that they will not, they will keep full stop Goma in the memorandum of um, settlement and go ahead and sign the agreement. Then secondly, on uh, 16th June 2023, in Delhi, the Home Ministry, were, there was a uh, committee called High Power Committee, and the uh, uh, EMPO were called, and they were said that they will finish the draft, they make the corrections in two, three days. Then on 7th December 2023, in his office chamber, that is the Home Ministers, they got the chamber in Parliament. He also called the delegation. And this is, our, this is his word. I am fully aware of your demand and it is in final stage. Then secondly, he said he had invited CM, CM of Chief, uh, Chief Minister of Nagaland and Deputy Chief Minister 
to Delhi on 11 December. And when they come, he will update everything and give the MOS, Memorandum of Settlement, to see and respond within a week. Number three, after the state government's response, he will invite the state government, high level uh, committee of Home Ministry and EMPO before the 25th December 2023. I'm telling this in sequence so that you remember what has transpired because I'm here on behalf of the EMPO to tell the public the sincere sincerity of the government of India and how the time has been taken stage by stage. Then his signing will take place within two weeks after giving draft of memorandum of settlement. Now, the next, after this meeting, draft memorandum of settlement will be given to ENPO and make changes if there is any. The next, before the election code of conduct. Now, these are the words of the Home Minister. He said, we will finalize your issue. It is my priority and firm commitment. Now, I am quoting this because this should not be taken that we have concocted. This is the very wording of the Home Minister. It is very, it is my responsibility to make your state, your state understand. That is, the, he, won, he took the responsibility to make the state of Nagaland chief minister, officials, and the cabinet to understand the position. Now, on 25th January 2024, he requested, the Home, uh, the Home Minister requested to hand over the final draft of MOS, Memorandum of Settlement to the EMBO, within the month of January 2024, which should be signed within one week time, the EMBO CEC, that is Central Executive Council, will have no option but to go back to the people at the grassroots and decide further course of action in the event of a failure to consider the request made. Lastly, due to failure to consider the request, we have joined consultative meeting with tribal bodies, top team and frontier organizations at Twin South on 5th February 2024. And this is the outcome of today's rally. So now, I, you know exactly why we are here today. A peaceful rally to be conducted to remind the government of India who has given us the assurance, who has given us the draft, mem a memorandum of settlement. It is not from the ANPO, it's the government of India who has given us. Now we are just waiting for that. And the, the words of Home Minister said, before the model court of conduct for the next parliamentary election, we will sign. So anytime it can happen. So we are just making our voice heard to Delhi. Thank you so much, sir.
Nice to meet you. Uh, we are just here on behalf of the ANPO. Yes, yes. Uh, we have been having dialogue with the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India, and they have assured that we'll uh, conclude this uh, FND uh, invoice draft on the, before the uh, model part of contract of election works uh, about. So we thought just a peaceful. Just to uh, draw the attention that time is now coming, so, uh, we should be able to have the things signed with that small, peaceful, democratic, leave, you know, uh, form group. We just want to sign some bit of memorandum. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.